Daniel Liebeskind, architect. Well, my connection is deep because uh, I'm the architect of the building. And of course, 20 years ago, uh, when, the, when the building was first inaugurated, it was just the beginning of the building, but the competition was in 1989, before the wall fell. And then, of course, it went through the turmoil. The, the, the whole idea of the competition for the Jewish Museum went through a whole turmoil of German reunification and all the obstacles to construction of the building. So uh, for me, the anniversary of 20 years since its opening is actually a deeper one because it began such a long time ago and I'm so thrilled that uh, we are celebrating this 20th anniversary of the building open. Uh, to me, it's, it's kind of a miracle how this building from its very vulnerable stage at the beginning, you know, with all the politics, the divisions, the uncertainty whether such a building was needed, whether people ever would come to this building, what would happen in the building, that the Jewish Museum Berlin is here. And it's such an important part of not just Berlin his history, but German history, uh, European history, history of the Holocaust, history of a new city. Well, I'm thrilled that there is a new director, Harry Berg, that there is a new ex exhibition that you know is a 21st century exhibition and not a 19th century exhibition. I'm thrilled that that the museum is alive and interesting, uh, showing you know the, the the myriad connections of history to the city, to Jews, to Germans, to to the world, and and it's it's really a, a joy to walk through it. Well, museums. Uh, like the Jewish Museum, have a huge relevance because they are social entities. They are no longer museums for the elite or for some people to come to study something, but they are really meant to bring people together. And in bringing people together, to bring thought together, emotions together, shared world to experience it together. So uh, in that sense, that was my idea when I designed a museum, to make it interesting, to make it interactive, even in its spatial organization, to make sure that people enjoy and really live an experience which is not only in the head, but in the body in the, and in the emotional, spiritual sense of wandering through the museum and, and uh, walking through it and meditating as well as just looking at the exhibits. Well, we are living in a period of tremendous divisions uh, in the world, in Europe and in Germany. We can see a rise of uh, anti-Semitism, of neo-fascist parties, of fascist parties, of bigotry, of racism, uh, of intolerance. Uh, in that sense, the museum has even more important a role to play, which is to show that those are dead ends of the world, to show that the world is a rich world of interaction, uh, it, that it benefits from diversity, from differences. And so my wish for the museum is to keep going in the direction of bringing people together to, sh to a shared idea of the past in order to see how beautiful the future can be. Well, we need to learn uh, what Jewish culture was. Uh, most people who paint the swastikas or, or graffiti have never met a Jew, they have never discussed anything with someone who's Jewish, don't know who they are. It's, 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 a, it's a disease. Uh, and I think, uh, yes, that's why it's so important to have the Jewish Museum. Well, an architect is not supposed to use words to describe a building. You have to enter you know, the door, look out of a window. But th the three words I would uh, uh, sort of say are uh, the, the, word of, uh, the word imagination, the world invisible and the world hope. Well, I, I'd like to sort of invite them to come to the museum uh, to really look at it from the inside and from the outside. Go, look at the exhibitions. Uh, m go to corners that are not so obvious when you just go for the first visit. Come back to some shadow that is haunting you through the window. Look across those that unfolded map of Berlin, which is actually the matrix of those slashes across the facades, 
and think of the addresses that have been eradicated in the history of Berlin, and then look upwards to see the light falling through the void, a light that is not erasable. So yeah, that's, that's what I would wish. Uh, enjoy. Enjoy.